Hello and welcome to some Be Open here at Las Vegas. We are back at Las Vegas because it is Las Vegas week. Now that we are following the real NASCAR schedule, we are just about to jump into qualifying with a qualifying setup, thankfully. Uh, really loving that OSR has been providing qualifying setups this season, it seems like. That's a really cool change because before just using the race setups and knowing absolutely nothing about setups, um, usually it was hard to compete with some of the higher times. And uh, these qualifying setups have been pretty darn good. I feel like I'm, I've got a decent, I have decent enough speed to uh, hopefully get ourselves a nice starting position and get ourselves on to uh, get into race conditions. So we'll see what we can do here. I think the first lap might be the best one, so we're going to try to attack here. Uh-oh. We have, we have trouble already before this thing even starts. I kind of underdrove turn one and two there. Get a decent three and four at least. We'll see if we can do anything else. Okay, maybe second lap will be better. That did feel like it stuck pretty well. Turn two's kind of like jumping out at me. I'm afraid I'm going to hit it eventually. Um, I think maybe I got used to Atlanta because of Arca. Uh, I got to stay in it. Yeah, that's what I was worried was going to happen on second lap. Less grip than three and four. So, first lap, 29, 9, I'll take that, that's fine. Um, kind of was worried that it wasn't going to grip too well in 3 and 4, but we have 100% tape on this thing, so we can't really drive around forever. But I will do a practice pit stop if it doesn't blow up. Ooh, we're gonna have to slow down more than that. Good to know, good to know. That was definitely some speeding right there, if I had to guess. I tried to push it a little bit there, and now I know probably don't do that. It will explode. But have dropped a little bit. Wow, look at that, a 29.5. That's pretty good. It's a whole three tenths faster than P2. That's impressive. I wonder if uh, more people are gonna be jumping up there. 29.9, definitely better than I was going to do on the race setup, which I am going to switch to now. There we go. I added a couple percentages of tape. Just 2%. Okay, Colton. You're in kind of feeling good about where it's at. I don't think it's going to be too much. Still P7. That's not bad at all. I'm thinking with race conditions, I probably would have been more down here in the teens. Though maybe we will be there by the time this is over. I'm, I'm impressed by that 0.5. I mean, look at that. That's a whole three tenths more than P2. Wowzers. But not quite the uh, truck field we had. Everyone practicing Road to Pro. That was a pretty crazy race. At least for the second half of that race. Uh, trucks here at Las Vegas. One of the most recent races I did. That was 5.6k strike the field. I almost didn't make top split, and that was a really, that was a, ended up being a really fun one, or at least it turned out really well for me. This one, less than half of that strength of field, and it's still a 2.6, which isn't the worst. Midday here on uh, Wednesday. I know, I, I, upload, I upload a lot of my videos out of order, like, I think the most recent video that's going to be coming out for this one is my USF 2000 race, even though that was the very first race I did this week. I hope that's not annoying or <laughs> confusing or anything. I just prioritize certain things like ARCA because um, I really like doing that first ARCA race of the week and getting that out there. And then uh, I really wanted to get like the truck race out, for example, because I thought that was a really good one. I was really happy with that race. And the USF 2000 race was good too, but less... Uh, Less of a popular series, just the actual race participation in general. So figure uh, 
you know, put that down the priority list. I don't know. It's not chronological, but I hope it's not <laughs> confusing or anything. But anyway, my blabbering has allowed us to finish qualifying. We get P8. Again, I feel like that's just so much better than I would have gotten otherwise. We'll see how we do in race conditions. I did I did an actual somewhat longer run. Uh, I normally don't get the chance to practice longer runs because I'm worried about fi figuring out qualifying and then suddenly the 30 minutes beforehand is over. But I got some uh, laps in and uh, they were my tire wear at the end of it was 90-90, so I'm feeling very good about that. Looks like we should make it to halfway just fine. And speaking of halfway, I was just uh, about halfway through Nick's video that he did here. He used the OSR setup as well and loosened it up. I have not done that, but I did add the tape. And I was thinking about loosening it, loosening it up as well, but then I saw the 9090 that I got. And I figured, well, I guess if it's going to be even, maybe don't mess with it too much. I don't know what I'm doing with all that anyway. And I figure whoever made this setup knows more than I do, so I'll go ahead and trust that. We'll see if that was good or not, but we will see. Starting on the outside, we'll, heat, we'll keep the temperatures up because I figure we'll be hotter temperatures in the pack. But I think if it starts getting hot, I can always just have some bigger lifts, save some tires. And it'll all be okay, because pace will go down, and so will the temperatures. By traditionally, though, here at Las Vegas, in the Xfinity car, I've not been too good, actually. I remember like one of the first times I did this combo, I was just really, really slow and really bad. And then I caught a wreck, and it was just not good at all. It was a very, very uh, disappointing race for me. I think I did a little bit better the last time I ran this. I don't remember that one too well, but I know I did it another time between that first attempt and this one. Hey, good luck. So maybe I can uh, continue, maybe get some improvement. Already improved on uh, what I would normally expect to get out of qualifying, so we're off to a good start, I guess. Just did another ARCA race for fun at Atlanta, old Atlanta, before this. And uh, that was a good one. I, I kind of learned how to actually save tires, I think. I got a little bit better and I waited until about 10 to go to actually start racing. And um, I thought I was in a really good position. I was in P2, catching the leader pretty fast once I started actually pushing. And then a lap car um, went high in one and two, which would have preferred him go low in the first place because at that point I was running the high line, but that's okay, whatever. I took the low line but then he didn't hold his line up top and then came down and clipped me and I thankfully didn't spin but it got me all like unsettled and then I ended up finishing P4 and I was like man I felt like I was I had all the momentum I was gonna go catch that leader maybe have a good exciting finish with a couple laps to go but uh, that kind of threw me off course who knows I, I might have even jumped uh, gone too quickly but enough about that race we got another one to worry about here Okay, car is off. Be ready. Green flag, green flag. We're off. Pretty good jump. I'm, I'm happy with that jump. Car inside. Still there. Hold your line. Green flag, green flag. Still there. Inside. Clear inside. I want to get clear of that guy. All right. Get single file. Start saving some tires. And uh, all should be well, hopefully. I want to try to try to keep this car happy, keep the tires happy. Oh my God, where's the ten going? Okay, that that whoa. Okay, wow, well, <laughs> that's unfortunate for him. That doesn't look too pleasant. Um, I think middle line might be a good place to be in this car because the bumps are so bad on the bottom. I kind of predicted that in the truck race as well. The uh, trucks weren't too bothered, but uh, okay, eight's going, I guess. Um, 
uh, trucks weren't so bad down there with those bombs, but I knew they were there, and uh, I predicted that the Xfinity car would feel them a bit more, and I think that is the case. So I'm, I'm kind of torn on whether I want to be running down there or not, because on one hand I'm thinking, well, maybe it'll be better on the tires if I do kind of suffer through it and go down here, but man, I lose a lot of momentum, so I'm thinking I might have to go a lane up. I think that that set of corners right there just convinced me, because that was pretty rough. It's like driving on a gravel road for a second. We'll be, uh, we'll be gentle. We'll not push too hard. Hopefully the uh, car will come to us. Hey, that guy wants to go. I'm not pushing hard enough for uh, some people, I guess. Maybe that's uh, on me. Maybe I should be pushing harder. I don't know. But uh, I mean, it feels like the car is binding up, so I don't want to. I don't want to just put it all on the right front. I want to keep this, uh, keep things moving gradually. So we'll see. Maybe I'll just fall back and never, never return. Yeah, we've technically gained a spot at this point, so. So far, so good as, as far as I'm concerned. P7. I think I want to keep it pretty low on exit there, because I'm getting great rotation out of 4. And it, it's a little alarming at first, because it does feel like it starts getting loose, but it's, uh, it, like I said, gets that rotation. I think that'll be good. So I'll, I'm going to keep allowing that to happen. Try not to, you know, slide it necessarily, but... Get the car rotating. I think that'll be helpful. Got the 9 behind us. I think he was in uh, some of the K5 Championship, wasn't he? Unless I'm thinking of some other other guy. The name seems familiar, though. Like Season 0, maybe? I don't know. He wants to go to my outside right now, though. <laughs> so, not, I'm not going to push it. He can have it. I'm waiting, as of right now. It's got us clear, so move down, that's cool. Big lift off. The temperatures are more than fine, I almost want to put more tape on it. guy just said water temperature is creeping up, but he's always so sensitive about it. We can go another like 10 degrees Fahrenheit and it's still okay. But maybe it's still working on working its way up, so maybe I won't get too crazy about that. We are only on lap 9. Trying not to turn uh, my steering wheel too much. Doesn't feel like uh, I'm doing it too too badly. I have to really be careful if guys are going to be trying that move down there in one and two because those bumps could send them upwards. So, got to be careful. This guy has wrecked me recently too. So he's just going to dive it in, even though he wasn't there. So high racing, if you look, you get. That's how it works here. If you can put your car a lane lower on the straightaway, it's yours, I guess. Yep, there he goes. Now he's gonna hit the bumps. Is he gonna push up into me or is he gonna be okay? Like he's okay. Not clear. Almost got me. I'm just gonna put it up here, let those guys by.
I don't know. This isn't feeling quite right, but it's still early. It's not necessarily feeling good, but I mean, I'm not doing what the 22 is doing at least. He's pushing up real hard. That can't be good for it. This car, I mean. But maybe I'm underdriving it. Could be. Still P11, that's not bad. Top 10 would be good, I'd be happy with that. 22 got loose or something. Get a run off of the corner and get him on the inside here. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Still there. It's fighting hard. Stay low. I'm still not going to push it. I'll just let uh, the tires finish the pass. Still there. Or not. Huh. Those bumps down there, man, they really slow you down. I hope this thing hooks up eventually. I feel like I'm being really good to the tires, but is it going to matter? Guys are really hooking up that bottom line better than me. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. Wow. What's <sighs> that? We got crashing? It's not gonna help me either if uh, they're just gonna crash. And then all my tire savings gonna be for nothing. Looks like he got down on the eighth and came up with the seventh thing. That one's on the move, though. He just passed the 22. Yeah, I'd seen him on the apron, but hell, I didn't think he was going to come up that quick. Yeah, that was wild. Guys to the inside. I don't know how guys are sticking it down there. Those bumps are killing me. Clear inside. Of course they gave me it four times. Car outside. Go low. I'm not sure what happened there, but those two guys got together or something. Ah oh, shoot. Slow down, guy behind. Guy about ran into me. Pits are closed. Pace cars out. Line up single file. Behind 22 is uh, behind us, it looks like. We'll go get some tires and whatnot. So, tire saving was for nothing, I guess. I don't think it was working anyway. I'll put one more percent tape on this thing. I think we're fine. I don't want to go too crazy, but... Small adjustment, just while we'll be in the pits anyway. Pit road's open. All course yellow, pits are open. Good job, Pelton. Hope you enjoy the rest of your race. Oh, I will do. Why don't you keep talking? Catch up 12, car. Checking up 3-4. Yeah, imagine everyone's coming in. The leader, Heinz, is pitting. Look out for the pit speed limit. Pit lane speed limit is 50 miles per hour. We'll need to stop again. Pit box team, 10. 
Going slow. Five, three, two, one. Right here. Little tricky getting to the box there. 88, 89. <sighs> I mean, pretty even, but was it paying off? I don't know. Okay, go. Right. 22 or the 12 rather gets out just ahead of us. Not gonna make it on fuel still. Oh, save some fuel. Catch that 12 car. Six point two gallons. Still need six point two, it says. So obviously that's way too much to save. But we'll keep some more uh, in the tank in case we need it. Are we in 10th still? I don't actually know what place we were before the caution, but... As of right now, we are in P10. Or no, P9. Okay, just changed. So we'll be on the inside. I think that's where I want to be. Going slow enough through 1 and 2. Bumps shouldn't hurt us too bad, and then we'll want to be on the bottom for 3 and 4, I imagine. I don't know if it matters all that much, though. Six gallons. Six gallons. I don't know why the 12 is warming his tires up. I don't know. I like it when they're cooler, get a little more turn. Feels like. So, came in the pits, lap 21. Pits are open. When do we come in next to get fuel? Let's see, halfway would have been 45. And maybe a lap 70. We'll see what the track's looking like, though, and if it's looking like guys might wreck. Hey, two, three, you got a mic, Mike? One to go. Next time by. Right. Then we might reconsider. Hopefully this uh, race doesn't devolve. It was a nice, decent run to start off. About 20 laps. I guess I'll go a little harder this time. I don't know if uh, it was really working out, saving how, how I was. I think I'll be gentle on entry, maybe push a little bit more mid the late corner. I think that's how I'll adjust. Still within the top 10 though. That's a uh, goal range. Set my goals realistically. About Having a free green. setup. Even if I am the three. What are we doing? 15's jumped about four times. <sighs> Trying to kill us. Around the bottom. Come on, guys. 
file. Pit road is closed right now. Pace car is out. Line up single. Oh well. Current car number 22. Damn, dude. Caution. It's some fuel. Catch up 12. Yeah, I tried to stay out of him whenever he's fun in front of me. At least we weren't in it. At least it wasn't in front of us. 5.5 gallons. How close are we going to be now? It's safe. I wouldn't have got ran over from behind. Yeah, yeah I didn't I have time, time to jump on the radio. It happened so fast. And then one time I got the phone, I couldn't get straight with whoever was all involved. I wonder what did happen. I'm done. You killed me. Y'all have a good one. Here's someone loose on the old tires. Maybe that's why people try to warm them up. <laughs> Makes good. That's a good point. 5.5 gallons. 5.2 gallons. We're getting closer. Car five. Got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the lucky outside. Dog. Let us fire. Said the fight wrecked me recently. I wouldn't say he necessarily did that. It was in an ARCA race I didn't record. Or no, it, where was it? It was, no, it was Xfinity at uh, Auto Club. He just did a slide job and cut it really close. Like, it essentially just almost turned himself on my nose on the exit of turn two at Auto Club. And uh, I had no time to react, so I rear ended him. And uh, it gave me nose damage and my car started overheating. Thankfully, it was really close to the end of the race. So I was able to still breathe it on home. L big lifts off the throttle and stuff, but I lost a couple spots from it. It was just uh, not very courteous. I didn't appreciate it, but never had any trouble with him before. It would have been nice, like, uh, you know, sorry, I didn't mean to cut it that close or something. But no, he continued on, got a better finish, and I nearly blew my engine. So that wasn't nice, but <laughs> it's okay. Whatever happens. But just I wanted to clarify, he didn't necessarily wreck me. That's too dramatic. Don't want to be throwing out misinformation. So that's not exactly how it went. So P8. I liked the inside last time, so a bit of a bummer. We were able to really stick it on the white line and get by uh, a guy last time. But maybe we'll uh, we'll be able to do an okay job on the outside too. Might be able to see the leader a little bit better. Hopefully that 15 sees the leader a little bit better. He's behind me now, so that's nice. He, well, he did like four false starts. I'm glad I didn't just trust him. Then that could have been really bad. One of the reasons it's good to try to see the actual leader if you can. So that way, uh, if someone false jumps, you're not just plowing into the back of them when they unfalse jump. 4.9 gallons. 4.9 gallons. That's probably going to go up still, though, um, once we're doing actual race laps. I don't think there's any chance of us being able to make it to the end or anything like that. But this will push back our scheduled pit time, I think. Just a little bit. Trying to come in at an optimal time. Maybe. Just a little bit. What did I say before? About 70? Is that what I said? 45? About 70? Yeah, probably going to be about 74. Probably where I'd want to come in, maybe. Maybe that's a little late. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how the car's feeling, too. How the car's feeling, how the racing is looking, what other guys are choosing to do. Don't want to stick too strictly to a plan um, when things can change, when the environment around can change. 15 is right behind me, so hopefully he doesn't false start right into my bumper. It happens, though. I've done it before, too. You get antsy.
I'm hearing first gear. I think second gear is the way to go. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Maybe first gear. I kind of like second gear though. Get ready. Going green. Maybe if I were on um, front row or something, I'd want first gear, but. Yeah, no, I like second gear. That was a great jump. Get him clear of us. Should have had session last lap up forever ago. Of course, I wait till I'm racing and need to distract myself to do it. But <laughs> yeah, I think maybe the play is to be a little more aggressive on exit. It seems like uh, I might be able to get it on the right rear if I do that. So maybe that is the better way to go about it. Easy on entry, but then gas it up. Ooh, yeah, okay. Got that turn. Out of four. I'm gonna try to do that instead. P7 was such a good jump for the outside lane. The whole outside lane was in sync. I love it. Really helped us off, off the line. These guys ahead are kind of just driving away though. I think I'm pretty bad in one and two. Car outside, outside clear. I'll leave him the lane up there. I'll take the low side uh, in one two if necessary. It's fine. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear outside. It's so bad down there. That is not good. Inside. You serious, man? I knew he was going to do it too, and I tried to drive it harder on entry, and he still just forced his way in. Completely unnecessary. That's so frustrating. As usual, though, if you could look down there, it's yours. iRacing's new slogan. If you can see it, it is yours. It's like Lion King. Everything the light touches, is that what it was? It was everything the sun touches? I don't know, it's been a while since I saw that. So, uh, the 11 just can't wait to be king. We are uh, going to wait. <laughs> We're going to hope the tires come to us. We're kind of in no man's land, though. We got a big gap behind us, and... Uh, Got a little bit of a gap forming in front of us. Not sure what to make of that. We're in the top 10, though. I know what to make of that. Thumbs up. I give that a thumbs up. I do like how it's feeling, being a little more aggressive uh, mid corner and exit. I enjoy uh, it, doesn't feel like it's uh, getting on the right front. Feels like it's maybe getting some rotation, so I'm thinking that's the better way to do it. What happened to the 15? Did he get some sort of penalty or something? Did he hit the wall real hard? I don't know. He's gone. He was right behind us recently. Huh. It's too bad. That sounded sarcastic. I didn't mean to <laughs> sound sarcastic. I don't know him. He's probably just fine. 
two wide up ahead. Mm, 11 cutting it close, clearing himself. At least it looked that way from here. I wish I could run the low line like that. I, this thing is not going to do that, though. I can tell you, if I go down there, it's, it's not going to happen. I mean, we've seen it already. I lose a ton of speed going down there. Temperatures are still looking just fine. I mean, we're at, we'll see what we're at at the end of, uh, or at the start of turn three. Starts getting too hot, about 255, I think, somewhere around there, and we're at 245. We got 10 degrees to spare. And it's great to have some extra tape on this thing if we can get it, because that's more downforce, which means more turn, more speed. All positives, as long as you're not popping the engine. And it's not looking too bad, so if we get an when we do come in again, maybe we add some more tape. Tape for days. Though it's still climbing, you see you got 246 there. So it could just continue to climb through the longer runs. Speaking of climbing, we're catching back up a little bit. At least to this 12. get in on that seam. I don't know if that's actually going to help it turn at all, but don't think it'll hurt. Well, going to the apron. I don't know if that even much helps here. I'll do it for qualifying, but what you lose coming back onto the track from the apron in a car like the Xfinity car, I don't know. I don't know if that's much helpful. Feels good. It's turning just fine. See if we can set something up on the 12. I'm not going to force it. But it looks like we are here. I hope he doesn't fight us for it, but we'll see. Keep low. Of course he'll fight us for it. Why wouldn't he? Why would anyone let make anything easy? That's fine. We'll get on the inside for turns three and four, and we should be able to complete it down here. To be fair, he had the optimal line up there, so he probably felt like he could just take it how he wanted and not necessarily have to back off. So in that situation, I get it. Good to move forward though, I like that. I like this new approach we have. Oh my god, we got some blocking going on up there. Is that what that was? That's a little scary. You know they're not going to be happy with each other. After whatever happened there. It's probably just going to mean more aggressive driving. If they want to wreck, that's fine with me. Just don't invite me. I think we got someone maybe falling off, maybe pushed a little too hard on the start of the run, and is uh, trying to defend it pretty hard. I'm thinking it might be the nine. Not sure. Just looked like maybe he was he was in pace a little bit, but now it looks like he's about to go back on someone's inside. Maybe not. It's 
Tell you what, though, uh, leader's pretty pretty well gone. In fact, I think P2 is pretty well gone too. Yeah, they're pretty far up there. They probably got it set up real loose and got a really good handle on it. Okay, Ooh, is that smoke? I think the seven might have gotten loose there. Oh no, we got someone blinking, I think. That was a pretty good corner. I liked how that felt. Just about as fast or pretty much equal as uh, last lap, but a little bit lower on exit felt like it got some more turn. That was good. Oh, whoa. <laughs> they are trying to rack up there. It sure seems that way. I think this car is getting better. Guys getting loose and pretty much in the wall. But I'm feeling as good as ever. Still there. Outside is clear. Yeah, these guys are getting real loose. Wow. I'm not getting that right now. Car feels pretty balanced. He's drifting it. Wow, that's scary. Whoa! My gosh. I gotta get by this guy quick. Cause he's gonna spin it in front of me or something. Not quite there. We'll follow him into the corner. Maybe get him next time. Okay. Take the apron to try to make sure we can clear him. Not quite, unfortunately. So we got some bumps to deal with. But we'll have preferred line for three and four. I think we should be able to complete it down here. It's fighting hard, never mind the fact that his car is pretty much dead loose. Fight with his life. Okay, well, are you done getting loose? That's the, I mean, if you're going to start moving fast again, that's fine. Or he's going to go up high. Where are you going? I don't know what he's doing. I was afraid he was going to hit the wall. Oh, uh, there he goes. Almost hits the wall, has to lift off. Finally got by him. Catch him from five miles back, but just got to fight for it. Hurt his tires even more. Five laps to go, I kind of get it, but I mean, we still have a green plate pit stop to do here. Let's not forget that either. Five gallons. Five gallons. 
Still need a lot of fuel. He was fine though, considering how evil his car looked. Didn't uh, get into us or anything, so he did fine. I'm allowed to complain though. This is stressful, man. Racing stressful. <laughs> so, I'm allowed to complain sometimes, right? I think everybody does. It's just no, not everybody records it. We got someone in the pits. Man, isn't it a little early? Maybe not. Feeling like we've got a better long run car than some of the guys around us, though. I'm gonna stick it out for a while. Even if they don't. Interesting. Yeah, it seems a little bit early based on when we got our first set of tires and stuff. Just based on math. Not math I'm doing in my head. I don't come in though. Maybe they know something I don't. Maybe uh, you really want to get uh, the undercut going here. Staying out long helped us in the trucks though, so I'm not too worried about, about everything right now. We, we'll lead some laps, I guess. Well, if everybody else is gone already, we'll do one more lap. I think we'll come in because I'm really not gaining anything if everybody else is coming in already anyway. You've just done 32 I don't know though, man. I mean, look at this lap. It's almost a tenth up on the last lap. Tires are doing just fine. You know, I'm, I'm going to stick to it. I'm going to stay out just a little longer. We got. 20 laps of fuel, we're not going to go that long, but, I mean, the math I'm doing here, you know, no cautions, I would have come in about 45, but we do get a caution and then reset at, like, lap 20, so you maybe add 20 to that, 65, and then we had a quick caution after that. Looks like the guy behind Pitt. The car behind Pitt in. The lap time was at yeah. 21.9. Inside. Clear. Pitting in here, pitting in. Did we make it? We made it. Good entry. All right. Box team. Ten. Five. Nice and smooth. Three. Two. One. Right here. All right. Fifty-nine sixty-six. That's interesting. The car felt good, but we were on the right front a little bit. Uh, I forgot to add more tape. That's okay. That's okay. We might be pushing a little bit harder this run anyway, so maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe it's a good thing. I don't know. Okay, filing in behind the twelve. That was really loose. <laughs> okay. 
That was scary for a moment. Be able to go past these guys, I imagine. Maybe not. We'll see. Yeah, we got it. Nine here, he had a bad corner. The lead is hitting now. Outside. Someone just came in. Outside, clear. I'm gonna take the same approach we did last time. A little bit harder on the exit and through the center than we did on the initial start. Are we on the lead lap? We are. Okay, that's good to know. Didn't know if we had anyone going extra long. Felt like we had a good green flag pit stop. Seems like we've got a while until the next person, though. On our lap, anyway. Um, what was I looking for? I wanted to see something and I forgot what it was. <laughs> I was looking through my black boxes. Still got plenty of time to go. Our tires are just a bit fresher than most of the field, I would assume. Oh yeah, I was going to look at my left side tires. 95A6. Okay. I was curious if maybe there was a chance anyone took two tires or something crazy. Like maybe the left tires don't wear at all here, but I think you know, they probably wouldn't have wanted to do that with uh, 85 on the left rear, especially. Group 6 I'm very happy with that. When you get to me, let me know where you want me. I'll take it down the low side, thank you. Car outside. Clear. Wait, <laughs> I was gonna catch him in that corner. But very uh, polite of him. Either way. Got that 12 behind us still. He's about half a second back. Hopefully he's not going to come past us again. I wouldn't think so. So we do have better tires. But I am trying to save those tires right now. Maybe I save them a little bit less. Because we don't get to take the tires home with us. So maybe I push even just a little bit more center and exit. Don't want to enter much harder. I don't think that's going to be good. Yeah, I started thinking like, you know, the end of that run, we had better tires than just about everybody, but it's not going to help us if we have better tires at the end of lap 90. We want to get everything we can out of these tires we have and the advantage they give us, theoretically, right? So. We'll, uh, we'll get on that gas. See how that works out for us. 5.9 to the next guy ahead of us. It was 6.5 not too long ago, so we are catching. Had a pretty decent clip, too, given that we still have, what is that, 17 laps to go now? I think we should be able to catch him before the end of this one. Potentially. We'll see how the tires even off.
Appreciate him doing that. It's a yeah, lap car. Yeah. You always gotta be kind of careful because you never know if a lap car is just gonna take the low line anyway, even on like much slower tires or something. Have to be a little bit careful, but he uh, he got it. Let us on by. Appreciate him for that. 5.1 to the sixth. We see him on our relative now. Could we have a top five in the works? It's kind of nice having this draft from these lap cars. They're kind of well placed for me. Got a new leader, sounds like. Oh, they're, yeah, they're battling for the lead. Or somebody just caught somebody with much better tires. The lap time was 31.3. Feels like maybe our tires might be evening out, though. I know at the end of that last run we had, I, I was gaining by the end of the run. So maybe these tires do even out quite a bit. You've just done a 31.4. Pretty good. Holds it together though. Outside. Outside. Get on by. 4.3 to the six ahead. Maybe we aren't catching him fast enough. 12 to go. We need to gain what, like three tenths a lap? Yeah, that maybe. I don't know if we will catch him actually. I don't know if we're quite catching him that quickly. I, uh, yeah. I don't think so, but we'll keep trying. The gap behind is now 3.5. Not getting caught by anybody, so that's good. Never know if the six might have some trouble with a lap car or something too. You hit the wall. Plenty of things that can happen. Yeah, it seems like we've evened out, though. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, apologies. In voice chat. No caution, though. Sometimes you hear those apologies and you just expect that yellow flag to come out. It's been a good race though, we had that one caution after the first 20 laps and then green so far. I always love getting a green flag pit stop. Outside. He looks like he wanted to go low there and I'm like, nah, I want to be on the low side. Don't want to hurt the tires any more than I need to. The 6 and the 7 are kind of close to each other. Maybe that would help us if they start going side by side. Only eight laps to go, though, coming up. I don't know if even that would help us. I see them, though. Yeah, they're not all that close. Looks closer on the relative than it actually does on the track. Wish I'd remembered to put the tape on there. It wouldn't have changed anything, though. It's not like we would have made up an extra three seconds because I added 1% of tape or something. Seven to go. I just hope it stays green. Don't want to have a late 
restart or green white checkered and then just things fall apart. It's always so disappointing when that happens. We're not even catching the guy head though anymore. Hey, I'll say hi right here. So, kind of uh, finishing this race in no man's land. Seems like a bit of a uh, bit of a slow finish, but it, it feels like we kind of finished uh, where we kind of deserve, I guess. I feel like I executed um, on all fronts. Um, first run, I underdrove it, but I made an adjustment. And I think it helped. Uh oh. More apologies. No yellow flags. Come on now. <laughs> okay. But I made the adjustment after the first run. I'm, I'm happy with how long run speed is looking now. And uh, we gained some through the green flag cycle. Because we weren't running sixth before the pit cycle started. I don't remember exactly where we were. I think it was more like eighth or ninth, though. So we gained a couple positions through that. Be interesting to see if uh, maybe the guys gave themselves penalties or something. I don't know if we will end up seeing that in the incidents later or not. We'll see if they like Good consistency. slid maybe or something. Yeah, the <laughs> the six has been about three point six, three point seven for about. I don't know, about six laps in a row now. So, tires evened out. That lap was at 31.9. Or I drove too hard. <laughs> One of the two. And even though I have better tires right now, I'd warm out or something. I don't feel like I did, though. The car feels like it's driving pretty well. Two more. Let's go. Man, they're battling for the lead still. They're going to have a great finish, I think. I didn't hear what the two just said. He's one of them in that race. Hopefully they get the white flag, though, and we can finish on the green. It's been a pretty great race. Last lap, so sounds like they got the white flag. Good stuff. This has been fun. Good pure racing, I think. Nothing too arcadey or goofy or dumb. White flag, last lap. Good old classic. <laughs> classic good racing. Oh, Corey. Great race, buddy. Good race. Wish I could have been yeah. out of the there. It's just impossible to pass on old tires. Yeah, yeah, I knew the undercut if I got out front of you. Hey. I'd say even after I come out. Huh. I Maybe the apron would have given me a little bit more. That's the finish. Well done. About 2,000 some second. But we will finish it off with P6. I was, I was really than I thought well. it would be a second run. I don't know what the next one was. Winch up. Mm -hmm. Pretty good race, Thank you. Thank you. Alright, that was a good... You know what, this was a really great race. Seemed like a pretty good lobby. Lots of smart racing that I saw, anyway. We only had the one caution. It sounds like they had a nice battle for the lead there at the end. We weren't part of that, but we finished just outside the top five. As the number three... Get pocket change for I rating. <laughs> Finish off with 76.84. Pretty similar to what I uh, started with. We failed tech inspection, so I guess we finished last. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Why am I failing? Everything's fine. Why does it say failed? Weird. Anyway, <laughs> glad that's not a thing. Didn't fail post race. But uh, move two spots up from our qualifying position. I felt like I. Executed everything well, like I said earlier, so it feels pretty good. I'm happy with that. That was some good fun. That was some good Xfinity 
racing action. Or, you know, at least a drive. Maybe a little light on the action, but it doesn't need to... Not every race needs to be a barn burner. <laughs> we'll uh, see what did happen out here. I'm sure we had our own fair share of trouble out here, regardless. Turn the volume down just a little bit. There's that tan. I remember seeing that. Oh, no. Just had it set up a little bit too loose for him, I think, on the start. Couldn't quite hold on to it. Tan getting loose. 21 just barely misses him. Oh, 13 tried to get on pit road, but he missed entry. I think it would have been better just to go through the grass, because now he's got a penalty. He might not have had much of a choice, though, if his car was not in, uh, not in control. Tiny little wall touch. Be interesting what, to see what brought out that first caution. Nobody was yelling at each other about it. The one I remember one guy apologized, so everyone was really nice in here, seems like. Oh, we got a dual wall hit. 24 followed the 17. Where is the 18 going? What on earth was that? I just start, I just finished saying how clean that was. What? What was that? He must have gotten hit, right? Oh, uh, I see what happened. Yeah, he had to dodge the guy that bounced off the wall. He was a little dramatic about it, though, I think. But I guess, you know, maybe he tried his best to get back up there. That's just a tough spot. It looks really bad, but I can see how that, how that could happen. He definitely needed to slow down more, though. So that way that didn't happen. I don't think this was the caution, though. Was it? No, it doesn't look like it. That's not going to stick. Yeah, that high line in one and two. Something about that high line just, it's, it, it, it like takes you right to the wall. I noticed that during practice. That time it looked like it didn't even try to turn. This is our caution, I think. Oh, that's, that's tough. What do we call that on? 15's a little low. He's a little far from the wall. He, he, he was, uh, was he the one that apologized? He might have been. I don't remember. But 15 was a little far off the wall, I think. 5 didn't give him much room, but he was in his lane. So, 5 gets a pretty bad hit. That's a, in real life, that's a hard hit. Right on the driver's door. And he kind of dissipated a little bit of the momentum first. Not a good thing to be doing. However, if you want to finish well... What's that? We're under caution right now, and it looks like he was not paying attention. <laughs> like looking at his phone or something. I was peeling it off the wall. Not sure why we're seeing him. Same right there. Oh. This. Did we have multiple cautions? Yeah, we had an immediate caution. That's right. We did have another caution. It was immediately after the first one. I forgot because they were so consecutive. Okay, so this happened directly after. And I think this might have been. Someone apologizing. I don't know. The 19 gets loose, though. Oh, my God. Wasn't it the 14 that was apologizing? He didn't do anything, though. It was just the 19. He, he like takes this really wide entry, and it looks like it breaks loose on him somehow. And then the 10 kind of Arca breaks it. No, he got hit by the 8. Okay. I didn't see that part, so 10 got, got sent to the wreck. I don't know if there's much you can do anyway, though. We're pretty high speed at this point in the track. So it's probably easier said than done to miss this. 21, not able to woe it down. Maybe that's what the 14 apologized for. A couple guys got damaged from that one, though. 10 had a rough one. 
Made a wall. Ooh, that thing's evil. Oh gosh, that's that's a KO car, I think. The car has too much damage, we have to fix it. That's my prediction for that one. 22 finds the wall. Lap 35. Oh, we got a blown engine. Wonder if he had some damage on the nose from earlier. So that's why we, uh, that's why he disappeared, the 15. 20 in the wall. 22 getting loose, probably gonna, yep. Correct it into the wall. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit faster since it looks like a lot of these are just gonna be some wall. Those, they are pretty hefty wall hits. Definitely notable ones. Nine up there. Oh, actually he pulls it off and then the six tried to go around him, but they found each other. Wall. It's prediction. It's trying to clear the eleven. Couldn't quite get there. Just checking to see if I was giving him room. Looks like I'm doing an okay job. I could probably even be a little bit more aggressive with it, but I didn't feel it was necessary. It's not like we were going to finish any higher <laughs> if I were a foot to the right, right there. You know what I mean? Living on the wall. Moving right along. Eleven's got no traction left, it looks like. He was the one that was kind of, like, drifting it later in the run. Before, I think. I think we made it through green flag pit stops. I didn't see anything related to that. Close racing up there for the lead. Crunch bar. Gonna avoid the obvious joke here. But that car is probably a bad omen. I don't know if I would want to drive a car that basically says damage, destruction. Speaking of. 23, that high line that just does not work, I'm telling you. And then 23 comes down, gets them. Really likes the 11, huh? I think it's just keeps predicting that he's getting the wall on entry. That was some real wall, I'm guessing, based on how slow he was right there. And then, final corner. That's what the one was saying. It's like, no, two was given 110%, and uh, the car only had 100%. But uh, he, he gave it his all, and it looks like they had a fun battle. And uh, that was the end of the race, so. Congrats to the one who was your winner. And uh, we got ourselves a P6. I'm very happy with that. We had a pretty large field, 24 cars. Pretty average, I guess, for the series, but um, pretty happy with how that turned out. You know, bringing a free setup out here and then pulling it right outside the top five. So, A OK with me. I hope you enjoyed some good, you know, just classic racing, how I described it. Uh, I, I really enjoyed that. It's nice, wholesome. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, that'll do it for this one. I appreciate you. And I uh, hope to see you next time. Have a good one.